Welcome back everybody to Heather's East Kitchen. Tonight's video guys, we were making homemade chicken strips and homemade french fries guys. So that's gonna be the video for today. And this is also the beginning of the quick meal series. So the first thing we're gonna do guys is chop up these potatoes. This is how I chop mine guys, just to get them chopped and sliced. There's different ways you can chop your fries guys, but this to me seems to be the easiest. So this is what I do. So I'm just showing you how I like to sh cut these potatoes, the shape and the size of how I make my french fries when I make them homemade. So this is how they look. And personally, guys, I really, really love the taste of fresh cut fries. To me, they just taste a whole lot better. And it's a lot more cost effective when you buy a bag of potatoes and just cut up your own fries. But this is the end result of how the fries look before I get ready to fry them. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and get the chicken strips made. I've already started some of them, and we're just gonna finish cutting up these chicken breasts and get these chicken breasts seasoned up. And this is also a really easy way to just make homemade chicken strips without buying them already pre-cut. Just buy you some chicken breasts and slice them down yourself. Alrighty, now that the chicken strips are all cut up, we're gonna go ahead and start seasoning them up. I'm keeping it real simple today, guys. I'm just gonna use some Lowry seasoning salt, some onion powder, and some garlic powder to season up these chicken strips. All right guys, so now that you got your chicken all seasoned, you wanna give it a good little stir to make sure that each piece of the chicken gets some love with that seasoning. So make sure you stir it up a bit so everything can be well seasoned. All right, so now that we got our chicken all seasoned up, I'm gonna go ahead and get my batter ready. This flour that I'm getting ready to use, guys, I got from my local market, Robert Woolies. They also sell it at Walmart, but this batter is really, really good. It's already seasoned. It's not a lot of seasoning, but it, did, it does give it a little kick, and we love it in my household. It makes the chicken taste really, really good. So if you have a local Walmart and you find this batter, guys, go ahead and try it out. It's really good. All right, guys, so you don't need a lot of batter, but you see me using my little whisk here. This is just to get some of the lumps out. I don't know if it makes a difference, but this is my OCD kicking in, so I'm just getting the lumps out of my flour real quick. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and dip these chicken strips inside of the flour, and then we're gonna lay them here on this baking sheet. I do have my grease currently heating up on 375 degrees, so that way the grease will be nice and ready once I get done battering up these strips.
guys this first batch of chicken strips are done look at how beautiful they turned out guys they're nice and golden chicken strips and homemade fries are such an easy meal these are prepared in less than 30 minutes so if you are looking for a quick meal guys this is definitely a go-to very simple and easy to make and this is definitely a meal that the whole family will enjoy guys all right everyone here you have it the chicken strips are done look how beautiful golden they are and they're still juicy i'm gonna break one open so you can see it look at that guys mm, these are going to be so so good all right now that them chicken strips are done we're going to go ahead and complete the final step and get the french fries cooked All right, guys the fries are completed they are so nice and golden and they are delicious so this is my interpretation of homemade fresh cut fries and chicken strips i got me a little ranch on the side guys here you have the completed meal thank you guys so much for watching and sharing this video and watching and supporting my channel make sure you share it with your friends and family and i will see you guys in the next video bye bye